Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to take screenshots on your Galaxy Note 5. Now the most common way of doing this is to hold your home button and lock button for three seconds and then the screen is going to flash white and you're going to see a screenshot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You see the screen kind of flashes and I see the screenshot fade up into my notification tray. Now if I swipe down on my notifications I can see the screenshot that I just captured and if I tap on it it's going to load in the screenshot. I can choose my application to use. I'll go ahead and use my gallery. And now it's going to load in the screenshot that we just took. And now I can favorite, share, edit, and then even delete the screenshot. Now that being that you're on a Note 5, there's also a couple other ways of doing this. I can actually pull out my S Pen and it's going to open up my Air Command. And then I can actually make a smart selection or screen write. Now making a smart selection will allow me to go ahead and select a portion of the screen using either a rectangle, a lasso, an oval, or I can auto shape it. And this will allow me to select a certain portion of the screen to actually choose for a screenshot. So as I drag the pen across, you see I have this nice little ant marching box around it. Let go. It captures that screenshot and now I can use my pen to write on it. I can share it, save it to my scrapbook, or even save this to my gallery. And now that I've done the shape, what I can actually do is even change it. So now if I use lasso, you see I can kind of make my own shape. And once I connect the dots, it's going to take just that portion of the screenshot that I just drew. Or I can even again choose an oval shape and make a circle or an oval and capture that. So that's one other method of doing a screenshot. Then there is also, we'll go ahead and come back out. And now I'm going to invoke the air command again. And now we have the screen right. What this will do is go ahead and capture the screen that we're currently on and then allow me to use the pen to either write on it or make up annotations. So now you see I can kind of write on here and make different circles. And there's a whole other video on actually how to use the S Pen and all the features of the S Pen. So make sure and check that out for a more in-depth analysis of how to use these air command features. But that is another method. We'll go ahead and discard that. And then one last one that I really think is really neat for the Note 5 is say we're on a web page or any page that allows me to scroll across it. So here we have State of Text website. And if I scroll all the way up to the top of the page, I'm going to invoke my air command. We're going to come into the screen right just as we did before. I'm going to tap there. Now it captured that screenshot. But now notice down in the bottom left hand corner we have what's called scroll capture. If I tap on that, it's actually going to scroll the page down and then add that and stitch it together to make one big screenshot. So you see as I continually tap capture more, up in the top right hand corner, we can see that I'm capturing one large screenshot, allowing me to go ahead and capture that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'll tap done. Now I have one giant scrollable screenshot. Then now with my S Pen, I'm going to be able to mark up, go ahead and write on, draw on, and do whatever I want to with that. So that's a really neat option of actually getting to capturing a website. Or even if I was, say, in the settings of my device, I'll go ahead and come home. Now if I go and say, to my device settings, we'll invoke the S Pen. We'll go and find a setting that I can scroll. So we'll choose. So here's a little menu that I can scroll. We'll come into our application manager. And now you see that I can scroll this page. I'm going to open up the S command. We'll do screen write. And now I've got that screenshot. And now we'll do a scrolling capture. So it's not just limited to websites. This is going to be anything that you're actually able to scroll, you can do with a scrolling capture. So those are a few different methods of how to take screenshots on your Galaxy Note 5. And for more Note 5 tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.